killed my shop vac. Either I burned the motor out or wiring went bad or something. Is it uh started smelling smoke when I was sanding. And I look over and there's smoke coming up out of here, which is never a good sign. And uh, it wouldn't come back on. It was just making a, I don't know if it was rattling or if there was like a short, uh, some kind of weird sound going on in there. So I unplugged it and uh, might take it apart if I have time. But for now I'm gonna hook up this big boy shut back use this one luckily I had two this one was given to me uh, so might be uh, RIP for this little guy okay so shop back was kind enough to make their uh, hoses and filters pretty much interchangeable with each other so I was able to use the same filter and change out the large hose for the smaller one because the large one will not fit on my orbital sander. So thank you shop back for making this easier on me. All right, so we've got the fiberglass laid out over the canoe. Um, we rolled this out a few days ago. It's been sitting for a little while. It came with a few little creases here and there. Um, you can't really feel them. So I'm hoping that when we put the resin on, it'll kind of clear all that up and you won't be able to see it, at least not as, not as well as you can right here. But um, it came in a roll. It wasn't folded, but it does have a couple of wrinkles here and here I'm not sure where those came from but I got this fiberglass from Raka I also got their resin it was fairly cheap uh, I wanted to use like West Systems or Total Boat but I just don't have the funds for that so um, I had a lot of guys recommending this stuff supposedly they're decent quality while also being affordable so we had to go with that um, I'm sure we'll be fine this is my first canoe I'm not a professional, so I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of money on my first boat when I, I don't really know what I'm doing. So <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get it floating, and that's really all that matters right now. Um, this is a huge learning experience for me. So as long as we can get it in the water and not sink, I'd say that's a, that's a success. So uh, my dad's on his way over here right now. He's going to help me mix and pour the resin. So, so, yeah, stay tuned for that.
now we've got two coats on it's time for the third coat um i was going to use the third coat as the final coat but i have a feeling we might need four coats just judging by the amount of texture left from the fiberglass so that's okay i'll just come back it's already seven o'clock so we'll finish this and i'll come back later tonight by myself and just put a quick coat on it's all right no big deal i want it to look good so but so far it's looking real nice now i may have gotten a little zealous overzealous with the uh stems i didn't leave them flat i kind of made them more rounded and uh, most of the ones that i see stay pretty square and keep that 3 8 inch all along until they get up here but you know i still like it we'll see if it affects performance or strength i mean as long as it floats right I think it'll be fine. But so far, it's looking looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. I like the color. The cypress was a pain to work with, but I think the color actually turned out pretty nice. So, all right. Well, we've got three coats on now. It is past my bedtime. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this last coat because um, we still have some texture, as you can see there. I'm gonna try to get it as smooth as I can because we're gonna have to do a final sanding after this once it's all cured. So. I'll do one more coat. I'm not going to film this one because I'm ready for bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning. All right, <clears throat> so I've got, I've got some more runs. I see. Oh, that feels great. Looks like I mixed it. Mixed it well. Anyway, you see that? Gotta get rid of that. And that. I sat here for a while watching it. Yeah. Trying to catch the drips as they're started. So that's all right. We're, we're gonna have to do a final sanding anyway before we varnish the canoe, so. It's not terrible, but it does bother me a little bit. Oh, Sand of these little guys out too. I found a couple last night and I guess I got another one. Poor guy. Yeah. Anyway, getting there. Looking good.
Okay, so before I begin to flip this, I need to make a cradle to hold it. And I don't want to lay it on anything hard uh, so that it scratches the hole. So I'm going to create this little cradle. I've already put these 2x4s in. I just screwed them to the strong back. And the reason they look like this is I'm going to get a couple strips of carpet. And I'll nail one end of the piece of carpet here. I'll let it droop a little bit so it's got a curve. And then attach it on that other end. And then we'll remove all of these interstations. And then these two front ones are going to be a little bit more of a pain. But we'll just have to get in there and unscrew all that stuff. And then lift it up, flip it, and then lay it down on this little carpet cradle. I've got one here and one there. And that will hold the canoe comfortably. Um, I made sure that the canoe wasn't going to be set too high because I want to be able to reach into it without rubbing up on the edge of the hole here. So I think this will be a comfortable height. And uh, yeah. So once we flip it over, then we'll pull those other stations out because they're, I think they're attached to the inner stem. What year do we think this is from? 70s. 70s. Inside is going to take a lot of scraping, but I shouldn't have to do quite as much sanding as I did on the outside.
This is your friendly reminder to wear your mask when you're sanding. Um, as you can probably tell by the sound of my voice, um, I'm having difficulty talking. So uh, the other day I was sanding the inside of this canoe and somehow I forgot to put my mask on and I sanded for about an hour straight with uh, not a lot of ventilation. I got a fan, but it's all just floating around in here. And so I was breathing a lot of that in. And uh, the next morning I was just coughing up a bunch of orange gunk. And then all that coughing damaged my throat. So now I can't, now I can't talk very well. So <laughs> wear your mask. If you want to reuse your containers, what I've found is instead of trying to clean them out while they're sticky and wet, um, just let them solidify with uh, your stir stick in there, like this. And stir sticks down in that corner where the thick epoxy is. And usually I can pull all of it out with the stir stick. It's all clean again and I don't even have to use my solvents or anything else like that to clean it out um, I might do a quick wipe down just to make sure there's nothing in there but that feels clear completely clean so I can reuse that and I can reuse a stir stick too I just cut the tip off Let's see if this one works Just peels right off. Now, don't wait too long because if it fully cures, then it's a little bit harder. It's not as malleable. Um, so I, I do it usually the next morning um, where it's solid and to where it holds onto itself, but it's not so solid that it won't bend and help allow me to pull it out. One more. That was easy. <laughs> 